Hey, I'm glad you could make it because I want to tell you a little story about this air rifle. This was on sale on, at Walmart.com a couple of weeks ago, and it was on sale for a ridiculous price. Now, I've, I've seen these things since then uh, at other places for over $100. Usually they sell for around 80 bucks. I bought it for $34.99 plus tax with free shipping. The next day, it was on sale even better, $24.99 plus tax with free shipping. So had I waited a day, I would have saved another 10 bucks. But for $35, what I wanted was a gun that I could practice tuning on and you know, I wouldn't have anything to lose. So I went ahead and bought it and it's exactly what I wanted. It's got a really nice action and a really cheap plastic stock. Chinese action, so you know what to expect. The tolerances are a little loose, but everything works, and oftentimes they're very accurate, which is the case for this one. It gets at least half inch at 25 yards. That's the best I can do so far with the pellets I've got on hand. But um, what I really want to show you is the difference in, in the way it used to shoot. And unfortunately, all I can tell you is the way it used to shoot was very harsh with an extreme amount of spring buzz. And when you cocked it, you could hear that um, the spring rubbing all the way down, click, 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 until the sear would engage. It was just, it wasn't a pleasant gun to shoot, not at all. And it was going to be something that would just sit in the corner in, in my, in my uh, workshop. I would never really pick it up because it just wasn't fun to shoot. So I said, perfect gun to try to tune. So I went online, I did some research, and I found that sometimes you can make a world of difference if you sleeve the piston and shim your top hat and your spring guide, assuming you have a top hat. Uh, this gun does have a top hat. So anyway, I went ahead and did that using two liter soda bottle, soda bottle material that you can pick up anywhere you can pick up a two liter soda. So, so I, uh, I, I did that based on what I could find online. And if you do some research, you'll be able to see the technique as well. I won't get into it. Uh, too much to say that I sleeved that piston and folded the, uh, the sleeve in such a way that it stays put. And I went ahead and sleeved the piston, uh, I mean the spring guide and the top hat with the same material. And the tolerances were perfect. You could pull them apart with very little effort, but they wouldn't fall apart with gravity, if you understand what I'm saying. So I put the gun back together again, and what used to be this really harsh um, firing cycle with a lot of vibration turned into this. The first thing you'll notice is that it's silent when you cock it until you hear that little click when the sear engages. So check this out. Isn't that amazing? I really like the way that thing cocks now. Now mind you, inside the gun, most of the time you'll have a piston with a piston rod running down the center of it, and that rod has a cutout that engages with your sear. This gun is made a lot less quality-wise, I would say, with a lot less quality, and the sear engages with the wall of the piston, and uh, I imagine that's going to be prone to failure at some day, but for now, who cares? It's a $35 gun. So anyway, what you want to listen for is the spring vibration, which won't be there. It's going to have a nice, quick action, just a little bit of recoil, and it's just smooth as glass now. It's just a joy to shoot. I'm going to pick this gun up all the time now, and I'm going to take shots out the back door with it and just have a good time. So listen up. Watch this. Isn't that amazing? It went from a really crazy, harsh, buzzing monster of a gun to a silent, talking, smooth shooting sweetheart of a gun. So if you got a cheap gun and you don't like the way it shoots, go online, do a little research, and shim that piston or shim those sleeve, uh, spring guide and top hat and sleeve that piston and you'll be amazed at the difference it makes. Thanks for watching.